Hey, it's time for a super rushed video for this week, and I've got something fitting. I don't know how rare it is that I think that a video game being made was a mistake, but with that, welcome to Homie Rollers for the Nintendo DS, which in my subjective opinion is probably one of the worst DS games to exist. From the idea to the execution, yeah, I'm not being hyperbolic, this game is terrible, and I'm not above showcasing garbage for what it is. So. For starters, for those of you who have no idea what homies are, they are a caricature of American gangsters, but not like the classy New York ones, I mean the ones that seem to try and out stereotype negative Mexican stereotypes. They were sold as toys in places like Walmart, and it got to the point that the creator, David Gonzalez, got into mild issues with the LAPD, based on allegations that his toy line promotes gang life. So this is already the perfect series to make a kart racer with, and looking up the game on the developer's website, um, Homie Rollers is a game where Hello Kitty is throwing a party and she needs your help. With what, bringing in the prostitutes and cocaina? All right, fine, you know what? They messed up on the website, but they did make a trailer for it, and let's just pretend I'm a little seven-year-old boy on his Nintendo Wii looking up on the Nintendo channel to see trailers for E-rated games I might pester my parents to buy. Rated E for everyone. Pull over, is droopy, eh? What's going on? Just chilling out, eh? Hey, hey, watch it, here comes a placa, man. What the That's cool, eh? Hold up, what the fuck? Why is the trailer dropping an F-bomb and having the police show up? Actually, judging by it, it makes me think that the director of the game was an outright racist and sexist, barely held back by a competent development team. This is easily the most offensive trailer for a Nintendo console game I've seen probably ever, and I've got proof of the sexist bit too. Hey girl, what you know about video games? You're a chick, eh? Hey, I wanna get a game- Really? Yeah, really wanna alienate half the population right off the bat? Now, I'm not a propagant of cancel culture, but did people at Destiny Year's public relations really not feel like they should have vetoed this? Again, E for everyone. This is the image Destiny Year wanted to make for itself as a company that makes games for everyone. Did they really think this was appropriate? Who ran Destiny Year? Peter Tompte? Peter Tom... Wait, what? Six days in Fallujah? Okay, for those of you who don't know what that game is, it's an allegedly tactical shooter that's meant to show off how bad war is by having you be an American soldier taking part in a real war that actually happened a couple years ago. Except from watching what they released, it's gonna be yet another ha ha America good fuck em Al Qaeda. Except that it included war crimes against Iraqi civilians. Like, actual war crimes. Yeah, um... Fuck that? I was gonna try and give the developers the benefit of the doubt for Homie Rollers' tone deafness, but Six Days in Fallujah is already on my radar for trying to win the most tone deaf award with things such as procedurally generating the city layout and the people that are gonna get shot. And in before, people say, oh, it just might be a guy with the same name and not the same person as the one responsible for Homie Rollers. No, this is related. Atomic Games, a studio originally developing Fallujah with Konami's funding, was a subsidiary of Destiny Year and had the same key people. Peter even mentioned in recent interviews how Konami pulled out of the project, so it's definitely the same person involved throughout both games. As far as I know, Six Days in Fallujah might even be sponsored by the US government to try and incentivize recruitment into the military, because I don't know who this publisher is, I don't know how they got their funding, but by making a shooter that glorifies war and how great America is, yeah, you're gonna make some money off that, you gotta feed in the bodies into the military industrial complex somehow. Wow, I got way off topic. Back to homie rollers. Uh, to describe it as anything other than abhorrent would be a disservice to all the bad games out there that I might have liked. I can forgive a terrible idea if it's done well. And I can forgive a great idea if it's done poorly. This? This is the worst of both worlds. The controls, graphics, music, they're all horrendous. If I were to make a bottom 5 games you've probably never heard of list, Homey Rollers is easily one of the first candidates for that list. The best way to describe this is Wolfenstein 3D The Kart Racer and that's it. 
yeah, the controller is responsive, it turns the world, I'll give it that, but isn't that weird state of too oversensitive and still not sensitive enough at times? Which I guess could be okay if the difficulty wasn't either non-existent or borderlining on impossible, regardless of what difficulty you choose. I thought that it'd be fun to try and beat the game as a guy on the wheelchair, you know, because of the implication, but I can't even beat the first race as him. I think that if I put in a lot of effort, I could theoretically go through the story, but that would only be if I wanted to speedrun my life to the point where I play Russian Roulette with a Glock. Sharp turns, random obstacles, and anything remotely beneficial being way too narrow mixed with an AI that somehow knows how to swerve around the mess hampers any sort of enjoyable experience I could have had, ironic or otherwise. While I can sort of give a bit of leeway toward the aesthetics of the levels, the actual layout of the racetracks is poorly done as well, because apparently a slight grey incline is out of bounds, and I should have just magically known this, like how a dog should magically know better than to bark at police officers. God, that was... dark. Um, speaking of aesthetics, let's talk about the music. Other than that it's in a wonky encrypted format, meaning I have to record what I can get the boring way, it's bad. Like, listen to this. Yeah, maybe this would be okay with some different instruments, but it's repetitive, it's annoying, it's general meaty. Like, it doesn't make me think of the game as anything more than just stereotypes of the game, the car tracer. And honestly, if you decide to buy this game and expect anything more out of it, don't. Don't expect anything, don't buy it. I spent $9 on it that I'm never gonna see back and I'm still not sure why I did. Homie Rollers isn't the kind of game that's so apocalyptically bad that it's fun to point and laugh at it, it's just unpleasant. I tried to play through it, I tried, okay? I got through more of the game than the previous owner did, who played a single race and gave up, and I have no shame in admitting that they are a wiser person than I am. <sighs> God, what's a good review score for this? Oh, I know. It's the Nutshack the Car Tracer. Have you ever seen The Nut Shack? That was a meme like five years ago, and that show is the kind of terrible I tell you to go watch. Because you'll hopefully understand exactly why I think these two stupid IPs should have had a crossover, as they both relentlessly make me feel like I'm huffing leaded gasoline. I don't know who asked for this game, but I hope you've been enjoying your monkey's paw.